The San Diego Chargers head east to Buffalo this week to face the Bills. Buffalo, a two and a half point favorite on bet deck. 44 is the total in this game. Now, the Bills have been one of the surprise teams in the league this season. They've won both their games, two impressive performances. Week one, they went out of Chicago, beat the Bears as a seven point underdog. Last week, they handled division rival Miami. And keep in mind, in week one, Miami beat the New England Patriots. So the Dolphins might be a pretty good team this year. The Bills have looked very good, really on both sides of the ball. Now, their defense was underrated last season. You look at the personnel on that defense, I mean, it is solid. Buffalo does have, I believe, a top 10 type defense this season. On offense, we know what they like to do. They like to run the football. Second in the NFL in rush yards per game last season. They've run it really well through two weeks of this season. We'll see if they're able to run it against the Chargers because the strength of this San Diego defense is up front. Last season, the Chargers were top 10 against the run, but they were not good in the secondary, 29th against the pass. Now, they made some moves to upgrade that secondary. Probably still too early to determine here through two weeks whether they have actually upgraded the secondary. What we do know, though, is this San Diego defense is still good against the run. That's because the Chargers upset the Seattle Seahawks last week. Seattle defending Super Bowl champion that looked so good, obviously in the Super Bowl and in week one, demolishing the Green Bay Packers. They were a five and a half point favorite in San Diego last week, but ended up losing the game. Main reason was they could not get their running game going. Only rushed for 103 yards and 45 of those yards came on two Percy Harvin runs. So Marshawn Lynch was not able to do his normal thing. Chargers really clogged things up inside for him which, like I said, is just what we saw out of this Chargers defense last year. So I think they match up pretty well with this Buffalo offense. Now, if the Chargers are able to slow down this Buffalo rushing attack, which is not easy. As we said, Buffalo, one of the best rushing attacks in the NFL, C.J. Spiller and Fred Jackson, they do it in different ways, but they can both do it. But if San Diego is able to slow down that rushing attack and the burden falls on E.J. Manuel, it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. Manuel, a major question mark, question mark heading into this season, had an up and down year as a rookie last year. The Bills have been able to really hide Manuel through two weeks of this season. He's only averaging 184.5 passing yards per game. They've run the ball so well that Manuel's been able to be a complimentary player and a real game manager. But as soon as they run up against a defense and it's able to stop that run, which as I said could be this week, then we're going to be able to see if E.J. Manuel and this young, inexperienced receiving core, if they're going to be able to make it happen. Now, as you can probably tell from my tone here, I have my doubts. I have my doubts as to whether Manuel is going to be able to outduel a guy like Phillip Rivers, who is one of the NFL's best quarterbacks. For that reason, I do lean towards San Diego here. I think this could be a good uh, sell-high spot for the Buffalo Bills. Now, you could say it'd be a good sell-high spot for the Chargers, because certainly they're riding a little wave of public love after their performance against Seattle last week, but public opinion has never been higher of these Buffalo Bills, and with good reason, after what we've seen over the first two weeks. I just think this is a good matchup for the Chargers. Like I said, I think their defense matches up well with this Buffalo offense, and if it comes down to Phillip Rivers versus E.J. Manuel, I will take Phillip Rivers all day long. I think San Diego is going to win this game outright. I like them in Buffalo as two-and-a-half-point underdogs.